Hi guys, I thought we could do a Q&A today, just kind of catch up. I feel like I haven't sat down and just talked to you guys in quite a while and I feel like we have a lot to chat about. I asked you guys for some questions on my Instagram story and then also on my YouTube community page, whatever it's called. And I honestly got really, really good questions from you guys so I'm really excited to answer some of these. I'm probably gonna ramble and talk way too much but, but it'll be like a FaceTime call. You guys just get an insight on my mind and whatnot. I don't know. I found somewhere to park. I had a little bit of car trouble when I was trying to find a parking spot. I'm having an issue. This is not, um, I'm a little freaked out. I was gonna move spots. I just started filming this video and I found a spot and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna move somewhere maybe a little bit more in the shade. There's a light on my car. I don't know what it means. When I try to put my car in drive and I let go of the brake, my car just rolls backwards and when I press on the gas, it doesn't do anything. Oh, I'm gonna freak out. What do I do? I'm stuck here. Hello? I need help. Um, I don't know what that means. Okay, hold on. Can you Turn your car off and then turn it back on. Okay, they went away. Oh, okay, it's fine. I also got a matcha from this place called Constellation Coffee in La Cunada if you're from the LA area. It's pretty good. This was $8 though. So. Anyways, I thought I would just start with all of the basic things about myself. I'm currently 21 years old. I'm living in Southern California. I am still doing college. I saw a lot of people ask if I was still enrolled in college, and I am. I'm doing all my classes through South New Hampshire University. Although I'm not going to an in-person college, I am still doing my education online. I have two cats named Clyde and Willow. I'm also living with my boyfriend. His name is Sebastian. We've been together for almost two years. It'll be two years at the end of this month. What else? I'm currently working a part-time job at a bakery. And that's a little summary of what my life is like currently. But let's get into the questions, shall we? This matcha is kind of lacking flavor. I also got a lot of like the same questions and a lot of them were about either my relationship or like mental health, which I love talking about both of those things. So it's perfect. A lot of people were asking how my boyfriend and I met and it is a little bit of a complicated story but I'll give you a quick summary we met in Chicago in 20 at the beginning of 2022. I was living in Idaho at the time and my boyfriend was living in LA and we were doing long distance for a couple of months and then I moved here and now we live together. I can go way more in depth if you guys would like to know and if you want relationship advice or anything. I would love to do a video on that. How do you balance your regular job and your YouTube life? Wonderful question. I'm honestly still learning how to balance everything, especially because I'm just now getting back into being consistent on social media. I'm still figuring out a schedule, but it is very, very hard with my work schedule because it's different every single week. I am never working the same days or hours, which is fun. It makes my life very kind of spontaneous, I guess. I get my schedule on the Thursday before, so today's Wednesday. I have no clue what I'm working next week, but I'll find out probably tomorrow. So with that, I kind of just have to plan my week at the beginning of each week, and using a planner has been one of the most helpful things for me, just because I'm able to like write every single thing down and then see which days I'm free or which days I'm at work or which days I have to do homework. I don't know, balancing my job and YouTube life is not something that is particularly difficult for me, at least at the moment. One of the full-time girls at my job just quit, so I have been getting more hours than usual, which is making it a little bit harder to find time. I only have two days off this week. Yeah, I would say just staying as organized as I can in a planner is what helps me to really balance everything. A lot of people asked about my mental health, which I thought was so sweet. I'm so glad that you guys care, and I really appreciate that, so thank Thank you. But this one question asked specifically, how have you managed your mental health? I feel like I don't even know where to start with this. I feel like I could make a whole video on this topic too, just because I have so much to say, but also I don't really know the best way to say it. My mental health has been all over the place since I moved to LA. The first year that I lived here was really, really, really kind of awful mentally for me. I don't really know why. I was just genuinely in the worst place I have ever been in my life. And it is so traumatizing to look back on, but I feel very, very grateful to to be in the place that I am now and have the mindset that I do now compared to like a year ago. Oh, dude, I literally, I can't even think, I can't even think about that time, it freaks me out. I think my biggest tips for mental health are to journal. I actually haven't journaled in a really long time, but I feel like that really, really helped me kind of figure out what I was feeling. Journaling is so beneficial and if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. Even if you're not good at writing, like literally just write down whatever comes to mind. Like write what you're feeling. If you don't know what you're feeling, write that down. And then also, just giving yourself more responsibility. I think one of the biggest things that was affecting my life negatively was a lack of responsibility and like discipline because when I first moved here I didn't have a part-time job and I also was like barely going
going to school. I was waking up super late. I just wasn't taking care of myself in any way. I don't know. I think I just needed more structure in my life. So whether it's doing your homework at a certain time every day or like waking up and making sure that you make breakfast every day, find something that you want to continually discipline yourself to do. It can make a really, really big difference in the way that you go about your life. Moving on. How are you feeling about where you are in life right now? I thought this was also a very cute question and I feel like all I have to say about this one is that I'm feeling very grateful and content to be where I'm at in my life right now. I feel like every day is a new opportunity for me to continue growing and finding more things that I'm passionate about. I feel like I've learned to appreciate just enjoying every day and not always worrying about what the next thing I'm gonna do is or wishing that I was all of these different things when I can just appreciate where I am now while also moving towards all of my goals. What is the best and hardest thing about being on the internet? I would say the best thing about being on the internet is the community that I get to have. Being on the internet just makes me feel less alone. It reminds me that even on my worst days, like I have so many people that care about me, which is crazy. And thank you for caring about me. But it's great. I think it just genuinely makes me feel less alone in my everyday life. The hardest part about being on the internet is knowing that every single person that is watching my video is judging me in one way or another. Whether it's good or bad, I am being perceived, which I absolutely hate being perceived. It's so scary to me. Like I never, ever, ever want attention on me when I am anywhere. It freaks me out. Like I, when I was still going to in-person classes, I would never show up to a class late because I was terrified of everyone like turning around and looking at me. That's something I would rather avoid. It is strange that I enjoy doing social media. There's always somebody that's going to judge you and there's always someone that's not going to like you and not like what you do and what can you do? Are you still going to college and what's your major? So yes, I am going to college, doing it completely online and I'm majoring in communications. I don't really know what I'm doing with my major yet. Let me know if you have suggestions if you're majoring in communications. I literally, I don't have any idea what I want to do with my major yet, which is a little bit scary because I don't have like a ton of time left in college, but I'm sure I'll figure it out soon. But as of right now, I really, I don't know, but I am really enjoying all of my communications classes. This next question really intrigued me. I got two similar ones. The first one says, how do you feel about views not being at the levels they used to be? And then someone else said, your engagement has gotten low. How does it affect you? I feel like this is a great question. Clearly compared to the videos I used to post in high school, like my videos are not getting as many views or likes or comments or whatever. It hasn't affected me as negatively as maybe some people might expect it to. I feel like my mindset with it is that everything happens in perfect time. I would like to feel that I worked for it. How do I word this in the best way possible? I feel like since I've just recently started to post consistently again, like it's expected that my views and everything are gonna be lower. Overall, it just motivates me even more to keep posting and putting more effort into my videos because the right audience is going to find me eventually. And just because I'm not getting as much engagement as I used to doesn't mean that my content isn't good. I guess, I don't know. I feel like as long as I'm enjoying what I'm posting and I get excited to post on whatever social media platform it may be, then that's all that really matters. Cause at the end of the day, I've never really done social media with the, with the intent to get a bunch of likes or views or anything. It scares me a little bit, actually. I feel like if I had the same amount of engagement and views that I used to, it wouldn't feel as rewarding. And I think I really took it for granted when I was younger too. I was looking back at my old Instagram the other day and one of my posts had like 40,000 likes. Girl, what the hell? That is so scary. Like I feel like as a 17 year old, like I wasn't really paying that much attention to like how many people were keeping up with me and like watching my stuff. So I would like to be a little bit more present with everything. Like I want to really take the time to reply to everybody's comments and like really build a community. As long as I am enjoying what I'm posting, I feel like that is all I can do and the right audience will find me in the right time. What do you miss most about living at home? I, I miss being with my family all the time and I don't get to see them super often, which it sucks, but it is very hard to figure out our schedules and it's not the easiest drive to do. I just miss my family. I enjoy living on my own, but I just miss being close closer to my family. On that same topic, kind of a lot of people asked if I enjoyed living on my own. What they don't tell you about living away from your parents is that your entire life will be cooking and cleaning and laundry and paying rent and bills and that's it. And so much laundry. I feel like my entire life is laundry. I feel like I didn't expect to spend so much time making grocery lists and worrying about what I'm gonna eat next. It's a lot and it's always the same things, but I enjoy 
enjoy it. I mean, it, it living on my own really makes sure that I'm staying responsible and organized because apartments get disgusting and dirty really fast. And so being able to stay on top of it and like constantly clean is a really, it's a good trait to have, I think. So living on my own has definitely helped me mature a lot and figure out how to manage all of my responsibilities. Next question, what made you want to get a part-time job? LA is very, very expensive to live in. So I needed a part-time job just to be able to pay my rent and other bills. But I also wanted another way to make friends and socialize more, especially because I'm doing college fully online. Like I don't really have a ton of opportunities to make new friends. And although I'm very content with just my boyfriend and like the couple of friends that I have that live kind of close to here, like I, I think it's important to constantly be making new connections with people. So I did want to get a job to make some new friends, which I have. I, I adore everybody that I work with, but I also just needed it for routine, which my job is kind of like the opposite of routine. Like I said, I don't ever work the same hours or days or whatever. It is, I think, essential for me to have something that I need to do. Like if I'm scheduled for work, I have to be there. And I think that's, again, just helping me out with discipline and making sure that I'm doing something with my life. LA is not the cheapest place to live. So I did need a part-time job along with my social media stuff. Somebody else asked, would you ever do social media full-time? I feel like I technically did social media full-time when I was in high school, but I feel like it's very different when I'm still in school versus like once I graduate college. I don't think I would want to do social media full-time just because my biggest thing with YouTube is that I want to be relatable and I really care about the relatability aspect of my videos and a lot of people who do social media full-time can be out of touch a little bit. I feel like I need to clarify a little bit what I was trying to say in this clip just so it doesn't come off the wrong way to anybody. I feel like what I was trying to say is that a lot of people who do social media full-time and like like nothing else. It's definitely harder to relate to them, obviously because most people have to go to school and go to work and do like normal day-to-day -day activities and some people that do social media full-time don't have to do that stuff and their lives are very different. So I just feel like that's harder to relate to than the average day-to-day -day activities. Although it is very entertaining to watch. I hope that clears things up. A lot of my content is centered around either school or work or whatever it is that, that I may be doing. So I don't, I don't think I would ever want just social media to be my job and like my life as much as I love making videos like I want to have other aspects of things in my life too I feel like I would lose a lot of the relatability that we have now if I were to just do social media as a job I would maybe do social media and like maybe start a business one day or like do something else on the side I don't know I think a podcast one day would be fun but I feel like I'm so I feel like I'm just bad with my words sometimes so maybe a podcast would not be the best option for me but I'm always gonna want to do social media but definitely not solely social media. All right, I think that's all of the questions that I'm gonna answer for today. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about me. That's what my life is like currently and, and where my mind is at. It is so hot in here. If you guys are still watching, comment down below this emoji. If you guys have any more questions for me, comment them on this video and I'll go through and answer them all. I love reading your guys' comments and just chatting with you guys. I've missed you, we need to do more. Sorry, there's bees outside the car. I was afraid one was gonna fly in here. I feel like we need to do more chatting videos and catching up. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you're still watching, thank you. I appreciate it. That's about all I've got for you today. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.